Hello Vinyl Community and everyone else watching this. How's everybody doing? I hope you're okay. Um, I just finished making a video on my recent finds. Check that out if you haven't. This video is going to be about Bomp. Uh, let me turn this down. Uh, um, if you guys don't know, I did a video a long time ago on Bomp. Bomp is a movie, or a movie, a, a record company. It was, was a magazine, too. Started by Greg Shaw in the late 60s, the very early 70s. And his wa wife, Susie, runs it now. Greg's been gone for a while. And, um, they're very into garage and punk and, um... Alive Natural Sound is their label as well, and um, they're a very cool store, and they do sales as well, and they do lots of reissues, and uh, just recently they had a they have a $5 or less bin, and they put that 10% off, so I went through it, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff cheap, and with the 10% off, basically paid for the shipping, so... I'm going to show you that stuff, but before I do, I want to tell you about another sale that's still going on, although it's getting depleted rapidly. And I'll tell you about two, actually. Um, there's a place called Import CDs. A few of you might know about it. They're having a blowout. Whole bunches of really good stuff. Cheap. Under 10 bucks. Free shipping. And if you spend 40 bucks, take another 25% off. I bought... I blew my record budget for the next couple of months on import CDs. Um, and I'll show you that stuff when I get it. But anybody that's interested, check them out. And um, I'm not sure how you can find the sale. If you go to their site, I do them on eBay. So I don't know if you go to their site if you can find it there or not. I buy off, I use them off eBay. And if you type in Dave Davies Vinyl, his latest album is one of them, and you can find them that way. Just hit the link on the top that tells you about the sale. There's about 3,000, 3,500 albums, and I got a bunch of Credence, and I'll show you when I, the latest, the latest Cliff Richard, uh, for Flipside Steve, Flipside CT Steve, the late Cliff Richard, yeah, Keith Richard's album was, um, about 775 shipped, um, Crazy stuff like that. You, you guys won't believe it when I when I finally get the stuff. They did cancel a couple items. Um, and then there's another place called Deep Discount that tells you everything's used, but they're not. And their prices are two dollars cheaper, even on that stuff for the most part, than um, import CDs. But they're not having a 25% off. And they charge a buck ninety nine shipping, which puts the price about even. And they don't discount on shipping from quantity. But they're another interesting place to find some cheap vinyl once in a while. Okay, my good deeds done. Hope everybody's doing well um, and um, having a decent week. I have my one day off this week, <laughs> today. And um, anyway, video time. Um, this is stuff I got from Bomb Records, all in their $5 or under section. And again, 10% off. Whole bunch of 45s we're going to start out with. Um, Chris Wilson, who used to be in the Flame and Groovies, Let Me Rock demo, backed with um, Vampiros en la Hebera, Mioi de Equino. Um, it's Ramon's cover, I believe. And, um, haven't played any of these yet, but looking forward to it. Um, another Chris Wilson. <laughs> God, I love the artwork. Um, Sympathy for the Devil, of course, Stone's cover. Dark Haired Girl. Pablo de Adio did the artwork. I don't believe it. But, anyway. <laughs> I think... I know who did the artwork, but I'm not going to say. All right. Um, the Weirdos. Here you go. Um, Vinyl Richie, I know, loves the Weirdos. Destroy All Music. And Why Do You Exist. This one isn't in a sleeve. It's just in a fold-out. And it is on Bomp. 
And um, yeah, some of these are on colored vinyl. I haven't been looking, but green vinyl. They're on that one. I don't think either of the first two were on colored vinyl, but nope, black and black. Mau Mau, Charlie Mankey, and Crazy. Now, some of these I went on um, YouTube and gave them a quick listen because I hadn't heard of them. And some of them were only like a buck, too. So I picked them up. Don't, don't remember most of them now, but uh, Jim Lewis and the Checkers, Money Honey, and One Night Stand. I do remember liking what I heard on YouTube on this a lot, though. I don't remember it. But I remember liking it and said, so, yeah, I'm going to grab that. Um, Iggy and the Stooges, tight pants, scene of the crime. Very early Stooges here, I believe. Um, on bump. Very cool. The Germs, forming, version 2 and round and round. They also had version 1. But I just grabbed one of them. I just <laughs> grabbed this one. I don't remember why. <laughs> There's the label, sort of. The Dishes. Hot Property. There they are right there. And I remember listening to this one and really liking it too. But again, I don't remember. Most of it's punk or power pop. Um, I think these guys were power pop. Uh, this one was just interesting, and I can't even remember who it is. I think it's a various artist EP. Um, but it's a it's a flexi disc on um, Bomb um, for this event, the Green Pajamas event, but. I don't remember anything about the record, to be honest. It might be by the Green Pajamas, or it might be somebody else. But there you go. And I think this was a buck. I picked it up. I like Flexies, actually. The Dogs, Paper Moon, and A, a Shot of Your Love, and Main Street, USA. The Dogs. Big Midnight, Do It At All. These guys were definitely like heavier sort of power pop. And I liked them a lot. I did do remember listening to them on, um, on YouTube. And these are on Alive Natural Sound. And um, it's on very dark, you won't be able to see it probably, purple vinyl. But if I put my little black light through it, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> So that's cool. And a lot of these you don't know when you're ordering them that they're on colored vinyl. They don't necessarily tell you. Um, there she goes again. The Crawdaddies. Love their version of that. And why don't you smile now? There she goes again. Of course the Velvet Underground song. This was on one of the um, uh, garage comps. Battle of the Bands garage comps on Vox. Um, very cool. Always wanted that Crawdaddy single. Had the, and there is a picture sleeve. I don't know why it wasn't in it, but there is a picture sleeve. So it did come with one. I thought it did. I was like, where's that? Anyway. And um, it also threw in an extra Vox sleeve for some reason, which is very, very cool. If any of these are on Vox, I'll have to throw them in there. And there is. The next one is on Vox. I'll put it in that Vox sleeve. Um, Rainy Day Sponge, The Laughing Soup dick Dish, and Teenage Lima Bean. I remember playing this, and it was weird, and I just said, what the heck. Again, probably really, really cheap. And now it's going to be in a Vox sleeve. So... Very, very cool. Put the light sleeve down there. Brother Crick, the same, and Chip on my shoulder. Again, played this and liked it. Don't remember it now, but um, 
it's cool to experiment once in a while. Um, you never know. You just never know. Beautiful stars. Universal stars. Sky Saxon. <laughs> of course, from the seeds. Um, very cool. There's a label on that one. Sky looking very hippy dippy there. And um, Permanent Wave. An EP, there's four songs on it. It doesn't matter. But I did listen to these guys too, and I liked them. I thought they'd be really synthy keyboardy, but they weren't. At least as bad as I thought they'd be, or I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> and the Poppies, these guys I do know. Jealousy, and she's got it. And um, very cool to have a Poppies 45. Very much a power pop band. Um, very cool. And you won't be able to see that this was blowing my mind. I can't even read this. You guys could probably read it because it's not right in front of your face. <laughs> I can't remember who this is. Maybe the label will tell me. The Miracle Workers. Strange Little Girl. This might be the best one I got and their version of Green Fuzz. But this label is so red and green that I can't even, my eyes are going, ah. Great cover, great picture there. Really like that. That might be the best one I got. Um, Zoomer. 10,000 words in a cardboard box. I remember this was really weird when I played it. I'm like, I gotta grab that. And, uh, it is on sort of pinkish, purplish, marbled vinyl. Which is very cool. And Thomas Function. I bought one of their albums. Um, the last five dollar bin deal I did, um, there's a single, Nomad and We Simply Just Attack, just in sort of a fold over sleeve, and, um, this is on sort of mud colored vinyl on a live natural sound, got some marbling in it, cool, and that does it for the 45s. Let's stick these somewhere. Uh, and okay, and I got a few 10 inches. Bruce Joyner and the Unknowns. I remember playing this and really liking it. Um, there's actually 10 songs on this. So it's either pressed together really tightly or they're really short songs. But they're sort of power pop rockabilly kind of stuff. Because I do like Buddy Holly's Rave On. And, um, but I remember playing this and really liking it. This might, these next two are two of the best things I got. Probably. The Rationals. Temptation Bout to Get Me. Live at the Grand Ballroom. November 27th, 1968. If you don't know who the Rationals are, very cool Detroit garage band. Um, just awesome, awesome guys. Um, and they did the original cover of Respect before Aretha Franklin got to it. There's the uh, set list. So very cool. And DMZ, the first time. Rare tracks. Never before on vinyl. And if you don't know who DMZ is, they're sort of um, a, a loudish punkish band, maybe even slightly pre-punk, um, and Mono Man is in this band that went on to form The Liars, which is, you know, one of the preeminent 80s garage band revivals, so, um, there's Mono Man right there, I saw The Liars live once, very good, um, so, be cool to hear some early DMZ, this did not come in a cover, but I put it in one, it's the last. I like the last. Very good power pop band. It's a 12 inch of Bebop Alula and um, Objections. 
Objections is the A side. And it just came like this. I think it was like a buck. Um, and I just put it in a plain white cover that I had. This just looked terrible. And it was cheap. And uh, this is like a one-off. They find one-offs in their um, warehouse and they sell them. Uh, the Insane Daryl Wayne. Um, it's an anti-disco album. That's <laughs> what this is. The Press, Disco Sucks. Um, Fabro and the Cheeseheads, Punk Punk, Down with Disco. There you go. You got the uh, idea if you want to freeze that and read that. Um, <laughs> Cute little anti-disco thing. I just saw this. They had one. I didn't think I'd get it, to be honest. It's got the original inner sleeve. Because um, when they have one, a lot of times they'll just... Um, no disco album is what it's called. Um, if you can finally make that out, which I just did. So, interesting sort of novelty there. They've had this in their five dollar bin forever. It's... I love the guy, so I don't know how this is, how his later stuff is, but I have one later, and it's all right. So, Davy Allen and the Arrows, the aerodynamic sound of Davy Allen and the Arrows. This is only like three bucks. It might be on colored vinyl, but I'm not going to open it right now. He covers his own blues theme and Born Losers theme and um, 68 Comeback, and you can hear the thing. Just sort of garage guitar. Davy Allen. So, very cool to get that. Again, it was like three bucks. And the last two, let me pick my needle up and just set it back down here. Still playing music, um, slow down. <laughs> Trying not to get flagged here, even though it's music that nobody's going to care about. A guy called Brian Olive. I have no idea who he is. I picked up two of his albums. Again, I did play a little on YouTube, and I liked it. And again, they were really cheap. And they're on a live natural sound. They're probably going to be on colored vinyl. Almost everything on a live natural sound is. So, I took the chance on a little bit I heard. This one's just self-titled. And this one is called Two of Everything. Oh, there's one more record here. And, uh, no idea about this guy. But I can remember sort of power poppy with a little rocky kind of thing. Um, right now, I'll check them out. Last but not least, Submarine Profits Dive EP. Again, really cheap, and I did check them out, and um, I did like them. Very, very dark cover here. You're not going to see anything. But, uh, uh, Ubik Records. This is it for Song EP. And, uh, oh, it's nice, like I said, to take chances once in a while. You have a little extra money or you're bored. <laughs> I'm bored a lot, even though I don't seem to have any time. Anyway, that's my bop stuff. So, hope you enjoyed that. And as I said in my last video, I do have a 500 subscriber contest going on. All you have to do is comment on any video and you're entered. Um, and if you want to make a video, just make a video showing a few albums that you bought because somebody in the vinyl community inspired you and talk about that. That's it, and you'll get entered twice if you do that. Um, that's about it. Um, hope everybody is doing well and um, having a great time picking up some vinyl, watching a lot of good videos, making good videos. I'm caught up on some of your videos, some of yours I'm not. Um, <laughs> you know, Steve, Flipside CT, tries to subscribe to everybody that subscribes to him. And I try to do that as well, but I fail miserably. And you can't possibly subscribe to 550 people and watch their videos. <laughs> It's just, it's just an impossibility. So, if you subscribe to me, I really, really appreciate it. And if I've never watched one of your videos, I am truly sorry. And if you really want me to, put it in the comments. And when I eventually do get to them, and you 
really persuade me. <laughs> I will. Um, I'm always looking for new people to watch, but that's the problem. Then some of the old people, you know. <laughs> There's only so much time in the day, right? Anyway, check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. I, I really appreciate all your listening to that as well, watching the videos, commenting, everything you guys do. Love the vinyl community. I'm so happy to be a part of this. And, uh, and until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.